You're watching KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. It is 514. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of KHQA This Morning. Mm -hmm. Not graphically different than the Monday version, other no. than new stuff to tell you about. Kristen Aguirre is out trying new jobs all this week. Yes, she is learning Ooh. about jobs in the community that sometimes go unnoticed. Uh, what are you doing this morning, Kristen? I am stocking your grocery shelves and and it's harder than it looked because it took me about 10 minutes to get this case of water up. So I don't know if that just says that this is tough or I'm out of shape. But coming up the whole morning, we are going to be talking to county market employees that stock their shelves and how they do it. And we're going to get to know those employees that are here overnight, keeping your grocery shelves nice and filled. Very, mm, nice. very yeah, cool. I think you rarely remember those folks when you're out uh -huh. shopping. You just want your product to be there. Right. Kristen Aguirre is out and about in Quincy this morning, working up a sweat. Yeah. How's it going, Kristen? It's going good. I'm here at County Market and we're learning all about the overnight shift. With me now is Brett Mills, who is the uh, manager here at the overnight shift at County Market. What's it like working these hours? Um, sometimes it's kind of <laughs> stressful. I mean, it's not for everybody. It is a very hard job and the hours are from like 10 o'clock at night till 7 in the morning. So. <laughs> You know, and everybody applying for and, it. And Brett is extra tired because he is a new dad. So he has a newborn at home too, and he's coming here and working these hours. And he's squeezing our interview in right now because he's running to the back, taking cashier out, stocking shelves. So very hectic this morning. A lot of what do you guys do during this downtime? Um, during the downtime, we try and get everything up up to speed and get everything ready for the morning shift. We clean. We make sure the floors are good looking. We stock anything that needs to be restocked. And, build any displays that need built up. Um, pretty much anything that looks like it needs to be fixed or done, we try and get it done and right for in the morning for when the shoppers start. And a lot, a lot goes into kind of stacking these shelves and kind of organizing the way everything looks more than people may think. Yes, there's a lot of procedures we do do for stocking shelves. It's not just throw it up there and it's ready to go. You got to rotate. You got to do the tag to tag system that we have in place. It's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. One of the things that you may see every time you go to the grocery store are these really large displays. And you may not know it, but a little bit of creativity goes into making them. So coming up later in the show, Brent and I are going to put, he's going to put my work to the test and we are going to build one of these displays. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes around like Super Bowl and stuff, the displays get really elaborate. Yeah, with uh, different colored. Uh, so Kristen Aguirre live in Quincy this morning. She is stocking some shelves at a grocery store. Yeah, Kristen, last we saw you, you were stocking water, cases of water. How's it going? That's what we are doing now. We are building a display. Now, we walk by these all the time in the grocery store, and you would never think that it takes a little bit of creativity and obviously a little bit of upper body strength to really get these going. With me now is Brent Mills from County Market. He's the overnight manager here. And this is called a display. Yes, it but is. But the other ones that have cap. shelving, those are called end caps. Our camera guy, Mark, used to be work here um, at County Market when he was younger, and he is giving me the lowdown on the correct terms. So that is an end cap, right, Brent? Yes. And then this is a display. Yes, it so is. So how do you figure out what needs to come out here? Um, we usually draw up a display plan. Uh, store directors get together and they figure out what's going on sale and what spots sell the best at what ad items will work in them spots. Um, so when this, building this, how do we start off? When we're building these, we'd like to start off double stacking the bottom because it gives the customers a label and the brand name so we promote brands. Um, then we kind of cross stack the next three layers to make sure that it's going to stay while we right, pull now. it and we push it. And then and you just want to throw them up here. So labeled, yep, labeled in the out. front. Keep them as nice and pretty as possible. So then you figure out, but I mean, do you, was your idea to have like this two stack, two stack um, kind of the idea? We, we usually try and build from the wall down. So we try and waterfall the top. Usually. Now, I'm going a little bit slow because Brent is really fast because we were here and, and we're going. Yes. Oh, wait, I have one more. Yes. Finish there we before go. you, Brent. <laughs> well, coming up later, we're going to be stacking some other shelves and getting the store oh. ready for Christmas, which is a very crazy time for a grocery store. 
Ooh. Thank you, Kristen. I know yeah. also they do break. She was on break. Yeah. Come on. What are you doing? Work. Get to work. I know. I rent her to yell at me. I have to get back to work. So now we're getting the store ready for the holidays. And Brent is putting me to work. And we are moving some of these candy canes around. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's going. Is it going? Yeah. This is tough work. This is a lot of manual labor. So we're just lifting this. This is how you guys get the big boxes around everywhere? Yep. Is this good? Uh, yeah. Make sure you're plenty of room off the floor so you don't scratch the it? floors up. And do I lift it now? No, you... No, I just pull? We just pull it over here. And we're it's gonna, as light as a feather. And we're going to stick it right up over here and kind of angle it out with the rest of them. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> You'll have that from time to time. Make and sure then we it's just drop it filling out of the shop in. Do you guys figure out it. where you want each of these big boxes to go beforehand or you just kind of bring them out and wing it? Um, we do do a display plan just for our dump bins. Our uh, store director usually is responsible for that. So you guys are starting to get your Christmas stuff out. How busy is this for the for county market during the season? Um, over the next three months, we will go through thousands and thousands and thousands of cases, and it's always incoming. We usually start getting Christmas stuff, usually about either the end of September or the beginning of October is when the bulk of it comes in, like all of our Christmas candy and our displays, plans and everything. Um, so that's when the overnight shift is kind of really important because you our guys are constantly restocking all of these things. Yes. What is it like working this shift without the customers? Because I'm sure everyone gets a little tense during the holidays. Um, you know, at nighttime it's kind of quiet in here. We don't have a lot of people in here shopping, which actually helps us because we're able to get it done faster with less problems. Do you prefer the quietness? Um, sometimes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it can be lonely in here and you get tired and you just want somebody to talk to other than the people you've been talking to every day. Well, so, that's I mean, what I'm here for today, Brent. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> well, you came by. <laughs> well, coming up later in the show, um, I'm going to continue stocking some of the shelves here and I'm even going to be able to change some of the pricing numbers, which I'm kind of excited about. Uh, are you raising them or lowering them? You're going to lower them. Sorry? Are you raising them or lowering them? I'm going to lower them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Working for us today. Working Kristen for Aguirre is doing some helping this morning at County Market. I don't know how much helping she's actually doing. She said doing. she's going to change the prices. So yeah. Well, helping us, I guess. she's helping everyone else. Hey, Kristen. I am helping out, guys. I am helping Brent stack some of these shelves. I'm doing a good job. Well, yeah. I'm mostly watching him, but... That's still a really good job. Brent, so what are we going to be doing now? Um, well, we got to finish stocking this display. And, <laughs> and so know. these all need to be cut off before um, um, just our the customer, top customers section, see them. But we got to make sure that all the labels are facing and they're all, all pulled out to the front okay. and everything looks good. So while you're doing that, you're going to put me to work up here. They got the big ladder out for me since I'm very small. And we're going to be changing the numbers. So how does this work? Oh! Oh, so they all flip. Yep. So the and they just slide into the top and the bottom. And the price for them is supposed to be 99 cents. 99 cents. Yep. Okay. So we don't have the cent sign, so you'd put the dot. Okay, guys, this is a little more. How about... Kristen's deal of the day, nine cent cans. Yeah, yeah, can we do that? I don't think that'd, that'd be a good good way to uh, get customers Is happy. that not a good way to start my job off here at County Market? No, no. <laughs> Why is it so important to kind of do all of this stuff um, now when customers aren't in, in the store? Um, well, most of the time our ad changes in the middle of the night and it changes in the middle of the week. so. Making sure these prices are changed just ensures the customers know what they're paying. That way there isn't a problem up at the register when they go to cash out, scan out. And we've all been there. That's kind of one of the worst problems is to go and back to the to, register thinking you're paying one thing and to pay another. Or happen to have somebody go price check it. And then you're, that's all, that always happens when you're rushing too. Yep. How often do you guys change your prices here? 
Um, it depends if something's going on sale or, I mean, the ad breaks every Wednesday and then a coupon book breaks every month and I mean it's just it's ever so you guys changing. are constantly busy yes well I'm gonna continue changing all these prices hopefully Brett won't look maybe I'll change a few a little bit lower and coming up later in the show we are gonna continue to show you what it's like to be working here overnight at County Market hmm just leave it like that yeah. nine cents a can <laughs> nine cents a can be good for the customer yeah. stocking some shelves at the grocery store or taking a break what is she doing yeah, now no doubt Get to work. No, I'm ba I'm back to work. <laughs> With me now is Brent Mills, the night side direct um, manager here at County Market. What goes on here at night? All morning we've been kind of giving people a sneak peek, but there's there's a lot you guys you guys you guys do. Um, well, we bring our product in off our grocery truck and we stock everything. And when I say everything, I I mean everything. All the grocery items you guys buy here over the course of the holiday season, we will be personally responsible for making sure you have them all. And yeah, we've still got some facing to do this morning. <laughs> so, I mean, for people who kind of look at your job and they oversee it, you guys are pretty vital. Yeah, um, without us, I mean, most of your stuff wouldn't be stocked in the morning. It wouldn't be ready to go. You wouldn't be able to run in and run out. I mean, you'd have issues where you'd have to wait. So there's not a lot of people here. So how many people are on staff here at County Market that's this Over the during these weird hours? Overnight, we usually have one cashier, um, a manager on duty, usually like two to three stalkers, and then we have a guy that does the floors and cleans all the floors in the building. And that's what our shift, that's what our, uh, shift, shift entails. You yeah. guys got a lot of stuff. There's not a lot of people here, and you guys have a lot of stuff to do. And with yeah. Christmas coming, you guys are extra busy. Yes, we are super busy. Um, we really haven't been able to stop at all tonight. They've been working straight through. As soon as they got here, they maybe had one break and doing what they need to do to get the job done. It's extremely, extremely busy. So anybody that would want to take on this job, what would you say that they need um, to have? Um, I mean, stocking experience is a plus. Being able to manage your time is another thing. And uh, just desire to work, hard working. It takes a lot of manual labor to get these shelves stocked. So I've been working here all morning. Do you think well, you would hire me? Uh, I, we'd have to, we'd have to take oh. consideration into that. All right. Well, if you're interested in getting yourself uh, stocking all of these great shelves, make sure you check out Connie Market for a stocking position. Because <laughs> you're not going to get it. Yeah, apparently, they're going to have to check your references. No, <laughs> don't quit your day job. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I bet the time goes by faster though, because it seems like yeah. they're always busy. Yeah, doing a lot of manual labor. Doing it. All right. Well. Ah, it's going really good. All morning I've been getting an inside look to what it's like at a grocery store at the odd hours. I've been stocking shelves, changing price tags, and doing it all. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get hired. But luckily for me, all this week I will be going to odd jobs throughout the tri-states that may go unnoticed. Coming up later in the week, I will be making you some coffee throwing out your garbage, and even feeding your pets. So make sure you stay tuned and see what else we have in store for Odd Jobs Week.